Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to another video. I hope you're all doing really, really well. I know that I promised that my next video was going to be the part two of my moving vlog and the studio makeover and tour and things, but real life happens and basically the studio isn't quite finished yet. We actually had a gas leak in this room last week, so that was stressful and we had to like pull up some of the floorboards so that the engineer could cut off the gas supply. So basically there's just been a few holdups which has meant that I can't finish that video. Um, so I thought for the time being I would share this video with you guys which is basically a little vlog of my and Matt's holiday to Cornwall. I did quite a lot of sketching from life while we were away. I also had the pleasure of meeting Crixis and Nell Chadwick which was such a lovely experience. I'm just sad that I don't live closer to Cornwall because we had such a lovely time together. At the end of the video, I'm gonna be doing a quick sketchbook flip through of all of the plein air sketches and other bits that I created whilst I was away on holiday. So you guys can see some of the locations that we were visiting in video form and in art form as well. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you at the end. For each other. So one of the first places that we visited when we were on holiday was Porth Leven. This was the first time that we'd been to this part of Cornwall and I actually met Crixis and Mel Chadwick. I reached out to Crixis before I went away because we've been friends online for a while and I thought that it'd be really nice to meet up with her and then she thought it'd be great to invite Mel as well. So it was a really lovely opportunity to hang out with those guys. They showed me and Matt around Porth Leven and um, took us to a really lovely spot to sketch. It was just a really special time sketching together and Matt joined in too. He sometimes sketches um, when we're on holiday together so he joined in as well, which was really nice. And um, yeah, it was just a great time. Whilst we were away, I really wanted to show you guys the Airbnb that we were staying at. We were staying on a farm near to Breeze and Helston and the Airbnb was called You With A View if you guys want to look it up because I would completely recommend it. It's an amazing place. The Airbnb hosts were really lovely and so friendly and the sheep were just the best part about it. They were so funny. And yeah, the views were incredible, absolutely beautiful. You had the view of the lizard and it was just such a special place. And we had such a relaxing time staying there in the shepherd's hut. When we met up with Mel and Crixis, I actually asked them for recommendations of places to visit because we'd never been to this part of Cornwall before and I know that particularly Mel has lived in the area for quite a long while and knows it really well so uh, she recommended we took a visit to Cadrith? Cadrith? I don't know if I'm saying that right but it's basically a beautiful fisherman's village absolutely stunning i couldn't believe how stunning it was and this footage just doesn't do it justice if you're ever in the area please please visit cadrith cadrith again i don't know if i'm saying it correctly but it's an incredible place Mel actually recommended a specific walk. We did a circular route and we ended up visiting a place called Poltesco. Poltesco is definitely my favorite place that we visited throughout the entire holiday. 
It felt like something from a fairy tale. There was these amazing trees and this beautiful cove that felt so untouched. And in contrast to this amazing natural environment, there's this ruining factory and it was just so breathtaking. Again, the footage just doesn't do it justice. It was just one of the most beautiful places I think I've ever been. So thank you so much, Mel, if you're watching for this recommendation. It was really, really beautiful and gave me a lot of inspiration. And I think I'm going to be taking a lot of inspiration from this place in my future work. So watch this space. days later we met up with Crixis and her husband and had a really lovely walk around the area of St Michael's Mount. We went to a place called Pera Nufno. I don't know if I'm saying that right either um, but it was a really really beautiful day. The weather was perfect for hiking because it wasn't sunny, it was warm and it was overcast and there was a slight breeze in the air so it was just perfect for walking and the views were absolutely breathtaking. Cornwall has officially stolen my heart and the entire time we were there I was basically pleading Matt for us to move there one day and I'm determined to live in Cornwall at some point in my life. We have just bought a house in Oxford but I was like, this place has something and a piece that I just can't explain. Like, it's just one of the most beautiful places. So I would love to move there in the future. Who knows what's going to happen? But um, yes, Cornwall has officially stolen my heart. Again, it was just so lovely to meet up with Crixis and spend more time with her. I've been told that if you head down to the south of Cornwall, it's a crime not to visit St Ives. So we spend the day in St Ives. This was supposedly going to be the worst day weather-wise, but it ended up being really lovely and sunny. My goodness, St Ives is beautiful, but boy was it busy. This place was heaving. I somehow managed to record clips that were somewhat peaceful <laughs> um, amongst the chaos. But we had a really lovely day and we also took a trip to the Tate Gallery in St Ives which was really interesting and they had a wide range of work that they were exhibiting so yeah definitely worth a visit. Even though we did have a lovely time that day it was so overwhelmingly busy as I say so if you are thinking about taking a trip to St Ives I would maybe recommend visiting spring or autumn time rather than in the summer because of the school holidays it was just so overwhelmingly busy. So this is going to be the sketchbook portion of the video. I did quite a lot of sketching whilst we were on holiday um, at the different locations that we were visiting. And yeah, I just thought it'd be a really nice way of like closing up the vlog, showing you guys some of the sketches that I did whilst we were away and like chatting a little bit about them. I hope that you enjoy having a little look. So these first two sketches were done at a place called Rinzi near to where we were staying and honestly that place embodied like pole dark vibes it was so beautiful there were so many mines kind of left to ruin i think they are owned by the national trust so they are kind of kept 
to the best of their abilities but yes they are kind of ruined and it's really really interesting and there's just a really amazing sense of atmosphere there and like the history of the place it's just so beautiful i would completely recommend a visit to Renzi if ever you're in and around that area of cornwall so this sketch i actually created back at the airbnb because i didn't have time to sketch this beautiful view and um it was raining basically i'd just done this sketch and then um, it started to rain and I really wanted to do a pencil sketch of the Wheel Prosper mine but I didn't get a chance so I thought what I'd do is take a photo and then sketch it back at the Airbnb so that was this one um, had a nice amount of time to work on this one I think maybe it took me about half an hour to 45 minutes this one was a lot quicker this was done probably in 15 minutes 15 to 20 minutes so this one's obviously a pencil sketch and then this one is mixed media and something that i was thinking about whilst we were away was the fact that i wanted to explore different materials and how different materials would interact and just play around with mixed media basically because I don't use watercolours that often in my work so yeah it was really interesting to kind of play around with watercolour and then like start layering um, with coloured pencil on top and I've also got some just like graphite pencil as well in areas and yeah this was a challenge because when I was painting this it actually started to rain so a lot of the well the pages kind of messed up I don't really care about that but the watercolour kind of got affected by the rain but I kind of like the way that that looks it's kind of given it a really interesting texture and I like the looseness of it um so yeah I just thought this was a really nice um impression of Rinzi uh, from the cliffs looking down onto the cove so this piece is actually of Rinzi as well but this was from a photograph so took a photo and then worked on it at the Airbnb and then I actually finished it with the coloured pencil uh, textures today so that I could film this because it's been my intention to finish working on this sketch and I just haven't had a chance so I wanted this one to just be really really loose and just like sketchy and um, didn't want to think about it too much so that's this one also a frenzy. This piece I actually created when I met up with Mel Chadwick and Christiana. Yeah, it was just a really, really lovely view. We were at Port Levin, just walking along the cliffs and decided to just stop and sketch this view. So this is so lovely to look back on because I have all the memories of meeting Mel and Christiana for the first time and it was just a really, really special day. So I'm really glad that I've got this to look back on and remember. This piece was created mixed media as well. I was kind of wanting to continue exploring the materials that I had at access to so watercolour, pro markers and coloured pencil and graphite pencil as well. And then this piece was done at the Lizard Point which is the most southerly point of the UK so I did this probably in about 15 minutes maybe less. That was using watercolour, pro markers and coloured pencils and a bit of graphite as well and we were actually seal spotting whilst i was sketching this we were sat at the cafe it's like a beautiful cafe on the end of the cliff and we were sat spotting seals and it was lovely and that was actually a recommendation of my friend esme and her family so if you're watching esme thank you for that recommendation it was really lovely to be able to see all the seals there's so many of them it was so cute okay and then these two pages are also Rinzi because we loved it so much that we just had to go back. We had to return. It was just such a special and magical place. You could just feel the history and the atmosphere. I can't explain it. I feel like Cornwall's like that. There's just an energy there that is so unlike the rest of the UK. I mean, I'm sure there are other places in the UK that have that kind of feel, but it's just special i love cornwall i really wanted to experiment uh with a sketch so i did these two from life it was a really hot day this day and super sunny but i was like i want to do something moody i don't know why i wasn't feeling moody or i was in a really good mood but i wanted to try and like create some atmosphere so what I did was I experimented with using a dark base, so a dark watercolour base, and then I basically used my coloured pencils on top 
and then added a little bit of watercolour on top of that. So I was just kind of playing around with like the materials that I had with the materials I had access to and just seeing what would happen if I just played around with different ways of doing things. So this obviously I wouldn't say this is the most successful piece um, out of the things that I did whilst I was away, but it was a lot of fun experimenting with it. And I think there's some really interesting textures that have come through. Interesting exercise. Would I do it again? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> and then this next one was me just using graphite pencil to sketch some of the cliffs and rocks. It was so cliffy on this beach, so I really want to capture that. So I did that one probably in about 10 minutes. And then this one is of St. Michael's Mount. I didn't have very long to create this piece and I think it shows this is really just a very basic sketch. Nothing exciting, just very, very basic. But I really wanted to capture it whilst we were there. This was on the day that I met up with Crixis, so there's really nice memories attached to that as well. And yeah, it's just a really fun exercise playing with watercolours. I really like some of these textures I've got in the sea. But yeah. That's the final piece that I created whilst we were away. Um, I really hope you guys have enjoyed seeing some of these sketches. So you've reached the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. And I really hope you've enjoyed coming along and getting a little bit of a glimpse into what we got up to when we went on holiday. Like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're not already. Um, and if you made it to the end of the video, write in the comments, you with a view, which was the shepherd's hut we were staying in. Um, we completely recommend that Airbnb, by the way. It was such a lovely place. Um, so yeah, you with a view if you made it to the end of the video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.